up, my people? It's your girl with Tom Boy Chronicles. We are on a moving mission this time. I'm not just sitting in the vehicle. I'm actually riding down about eight hours in, I'm into a ten and a half hour drive. So I decided, you know, talk to you guys. Like, what else are y'all doing? I'm not doing anything, right? Good. Cool. I was thinking about something. I was thinking about change. Um, and how change affects us, and you know, a lot of changes have been going on the past couple of years because of a lot of things happening in the world, but more so for me it's more of a personal change, you know. I'm I'm someone that's good with change as long as I have noticed and I can prepare for it. Um because you know it kind of affects my anxiety if things change rapidly. But um I've been dealing with a lot of uh changes with work and things like that where um, I'm so used to working for myself and kind of doing my own thing, doing my own schedule, where now I'm in a situation where it feels like I'm working for someone else and I'm under their guidelines, their rules, their this, their that, which is not a big deal, but when you're used to making the decisions and making like even with clients like I choose my clients I choose my staff I choose who I want to work with I choose who I want to do business with um once you make the, that choice to choose clients then you know you kind of under them on that note but it's still the choice that you, you make you know so I've been struggling with um just new new thing that I'm doing where it's not it was it started off as something that I wanted to do just to do something different and now it's turned into a need to do it because of everything going on in the world and how businesses ran now and it affects a lot of my other businesses so um, I've been crying a lot and I'm just gonna be honest with you because you guys are my family so I trust you so um, I, I, I'm, I'm a crier anyway but I've been crying a lot and I'm okay with crying about stuff because I'm still gonna do the job. I'm still going to do what I'm supposed to do. I'm still going to, you know, pick myself up and just do it. Um, but it's to the point where it's like, all the way up to it's time for me to, to do what I need to do. I'm like sad and like depressed and going over my life decisions. And, and it's crazy because I'm blessed. Like a lot of people who can't, are not in the situation that I'm in where they, they can do start something new or do something and you know make good money and you know live and survive so it feels crazy for me to be sad and upset and things like that but it goes back to you know your mentals like paying attention to your mentals and your situation and what makes you happy and things like that so now I'm on this mission to make the best of my situation um it's hard for me to be away from people that I love and care about, so I get sad about that. But it's like, think about when you see them again, you know, how they make you feel and the reason why you are sad. Why are you sad that you're going away from these people? They, they touch you in some way. They hold some type of connection to you. They make you feel good and they give you what you need, that energy. So just think about getting back to that energy so you can feel fulfilled. As far as doing the job, I think the biggest thing is, is like, again, I'm a tomboy. Um, I'm not a stranger to hard work. I don't mind getting my hands dirty, but I wish people would realize I'm still a woman. It's only so many years of my life that I want to be in a situation where I have to, because this is, I have to get my hands dirty. These, this is the things I choose to do so it's like I do want to get to the point where I have someone in my life a partner who's going to assist with the, the getting hands dirty part and say babe I got it you know I'm going to say no I got it but you know we still want someone to say no stop I got it let me do it you know and that's something that I'm looking forward to having in my life again. I don't want to say I never had that. I'm looking forward to having that in my life again because you don't realize how important that is until you 
don't have it until you're out here um, doing things and you're like, oh yeah, you're so used to doing stuff, you're so used to just doing it, it's just become a part of who you are, but the other part of you is that emotional side, that crying side, that, you know, please help me, like, make my life easier, um, it's not a need, um, it's a want, like, you know, a lot of us out here, a lot of single mothers, a lot of women that are single out here, we just do what we have to do, and sometimes it seems like we're angry all the time, or we're, we, you know, we think we, we boss and we think we this, we think we that, no, we just gotta put on that face and get out there and get it done, because if we come out here crying in public, and it's always like, she weak, she just, she that, so it's like, we can't win for losing, so it's like, what, what option do we have, what do we choose? We choose to stay stoic. We choose to stay the course and do what we have to do, um, regardless. Because you know, it's like you, you understand that you know, you, you, there might not be a savior. <laughs> there might not ever be a savior. So you have to put yourself in position to survive and do what you have to do. And sometimes you have to cut throats uh, with certain people that take advantage of that. So, but. I think uh, just dealing with change, it's a process. And the younger you are, the easier it is. You're more resilient to change. But the older you get, you know, you have to realize, like, I, I don't want too much to change. <laughs> I want to be kind of consistent. I need to, you know, get into the next level of your life. Like, you know, those changes where, all right, I reached this point of my success, my career. Let's, let's bump it up to the next notch. What's the next stage? But you got to get to those next stages. And that does take some type of change. Um, you can't be complacent. You can't be consistent. You know, you can't get upset. You know, again, I am so blessed. And I feel highly favored because a lot of times God could have just said, no, you don't deserve any of this. No, I'm going to take this away from you. No, you, you this, you that. But I feel like I put in so much in his name and I've done so much good that you know he continues to bless me even when I fall and I you know I fail and I make mistakes it's like he still looks out for me so while I'm over here crying because I gotta go make all this money it's like are you should you really be crying should you really be upset like no but I'm still human I still feel I still have um, wants and needs. It's, I still have things that I want to do to make me happy. Because in that change, I still have to have balance. I still have to have balance and some type of control over what I do and who I am and what I say. And I feel like I've spent so much time telling others, okay, okay. I've lost that along the way. I've lost that sense of self of what do you really want? You know, I had my best friend and another friend of mine both tell me the same thing this week. Like, find out what makes you happy, what's going to keep you happy, and make sure you're incorporating it uh, every day. So, this makes me happy talking to you guys, sharing. That makes me happy. Um, working on my art makes me happy. Whatever your art is, you know, or whatever genre it is, you know, do it constantly do it keep your mind fresh and open that makes me happy so making what i do just a blip in my normal life what what i work for every day shouldn't take consume your whole life you know you have work you have rest you have play you have enjoyment you have meditation you have exercise you have whatever all these elements come together you like time with family and friends you need all these things we need this. We need all of these things to make us whole and complete. Um, you can't just work, 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 work. You can't just lay around, lay around, lay around either. And, you know, so you have to create some sort of balance. So if you're in a situation where, you know, you really don't like that nine to five, but you got to get up every day, you punch that snooze button three times before you actually get up and leave the house. Um, but you, you, you got a job to go to, just do your job blessed that you have that job you can cry about it before you go cry about it when you get there but you know what show up strong and do 
what you got to do. And if it's something you don't want to do for long term, put in your time and your plans to set goals and check them off your list so you can get out of that. So you're doing things uh, that make you happy. I feel like I have this gift where, you know, I meet people and I spend time with them and I see what they're good at and I see what they can excel at. And I, in my mind, I've, I've created a whole business around that for them. And sometimes I present it to them. You know, I got a friend, she's, she's really, really good at um, um, creating things, like, you know, artistically. Like, she does the whole rhinestones on the shoes. You know, she, you know, paints on shirts. and She does a lot of artistically creative things with, with clothing. And she's really good at styling and putting things together. And I, I came to her, I was like, you know what, you can make a lot of money doing this. You know, if you do this, this is the devil, blah, blah, blah. She's kind of like, yeah, you know, I don't know. I'm not going to push it. But I put it out there like, girl, I see you. You got talent. You got, the world needs to see this talent. And, you know, I don't know if they like it or not. You know, my friends can let me know if they like it or not. Because I, I'll be like, hey, you know what? You know what you can do? Oh, I'm going to set up this website for you. I'm going to do, 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 You know, because I see that you do, 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 do. It's an easier way to do this. It's a, a better way to make money. And it's a market for it. So, um. I think God gives me that gift because I, I want everybody to succeed and I want to see people do well and I want them to see them live in the things they love. It might come off a little pushy, but you know, hey, that's what friends are for, right? We gotta push each other uh, to do better, to do 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 great things. So um, yeah, so change, you know, accepting change and being okay with change and rolling with the punches again i'm gonna go back to what i first said it's okay to cry like i'm gonna cry because i gotta get it out i try to i try to suck it up and hold it in for a whole week that don't work for me it's like no nah, you gotta get this off your chest so before you can move on into whatever you have to do so it's like allow yourself these moments to feel all your emotions and don't let anybody tell you something's wrong with you because you you do that you know what is wrong with me is i've held a lot of stuff in so by the time i do let it out i'm probably at out of one scale of one to ten i'm probably at a 30 by the time i let it out that's what's not good that's when it's something's wrong with you because you're holding in how you feel and you know what you're going through so uh, a big part is like i do a lot of writing I write a lot, but I, I realized me writing out those things sometimes doesn't help. So what I started doing is like sharing, sharing it with the people that are closest to me, um, sharing with the people that, you know, that need to know how I feel. Um, I don't want to overload anybody. So now it's like, if I have a significant other, I'm going to tell them, give them one thing a day. You know, um, I felt this way about this the other day that I meant to share that with you. And I just want to share with you now. It's not for you to respond or give me feedback. I just want to let you know um, if, if I seemed off or seemed like something was wrong, this was bothering me. Um, and I just wanted to share it with you. Um, everything doesn't have a resolution. Everything doesn't need a response. Everything, is, it might not even be the other person. It might be something you're going through in the way they said something caught you the wrong way. Um, I also ask people, like, their opinion uh, about me. Um, just do, I do self-checks. Like, do, well, what, what type of person am I interview? How would you describe me to others? Because I want to make sure I'm getting the best me possible. And I don't want the people closer to me always to say, well, that's just how she is. That's not acceptable. That's just how she is. You know, if you're going to be in her life, you just got to understand that's just how she is. You know, certain things we should work on, we should change, you know, make others comfortable. So I do I do, do a self-evaluation with other people because, you know, that's who you're around. That's who has, you could have an opinion. And these are the people you love and trust. So you're hoping that they're being honest and upfront with you. And, you know, I keep my circle small. But it's very small right now. Maybe got five. Main circle, and then you know, it might be another five on the next level of the circle, you know, <laughs> and everybody else's associates. 
Um, so, you know, you got your people that you trust. And if you got these people in your circle, you should be able to talk to them about anything. And y'all should be able to be honest with each other up front and, and help each other out. Like, I'm at a point in my life now that I get on the phone with my friends. You know what we're talking about? We're talking about retirement plans. We're talking about vacations. We're talking about real estate. We're talking about our next move. You know, where are we going next in our lives? It's not frivolous conversations. Um, we might hit on something in the news here and there, but we don't have really empty conversations. Our conversations are meaningful and impactful. And I love the fact that I'm um, around people where we're talking about our lives and where we're going from here and we're motivating each other to the next level. So if you don't have a circle like that, I mean, maybe you're not at that point in your life. In your early 20s, y'all might be talking about uh, the next club you're going to or something and, or whatever. That's fine. That's fine. That's where you're at in your life. But, you know, different levels cause different things and you want your friends to move, when you move with you. You know, if you feel like, you know, I'm at this point in my life and this person is not here, so I don't know if this this situation is gonna work, that's on you to say, hey, look, you know, we just drifting apart. You didn't even have to say anything. You just, you know, spend less time talking to them. Like they're not adding value and fruitful and necessary. Um, and yeah, they, you don't have to talk to them about those things. But yeah, again, dealing with change, get you a good circle of people around you. Stay prayed up. Do a lot of meditating. Take your vitamins. I, I kept forgetting to take my vitamins. Those vitamins help. You puts me in a better mood. So, yeah. So, if y'all have any suggestions or anything you want to add to it, don't forget to like and comment and let me know. Check out our apparel, too. Tom Wood. Tom Wood. I'll put the link down there to the website. So, thank you for going along with this ride with me. Part of this ride with me. Appreciate you guys. And as always, I love you. Be blessed.